So that's the first layer done. Careful of remover. Then we do the same with the second layer. So making sure that I line up text marking with that line, like so. Trace around it. Okay, it's the second layer done. Now let's do the third layer. Once again, making sure it's aligned correctly. Third layer done. Just go over these lines because I turn extremely faintly. So it's nice and obvious. Okay, now I'm up to the fourth layer. Once again, it's nicely aligned, carefully, without disturbing the Play Doh. Okay, now we're up to the fifth layer. Making sure I line that carefully. So the alignment mark is right there. Make sure that's aligned. That mark is aligned with that mark in there. Close it down. Okay, let's trace around it.
complete. Now we're up to the sixth layer. Okay, as you can see, the line marking. Make sure it's aligned with that line there. Straight down. Just press around it. complete. Right to the seventh flag. Once again, the white markings right there. Carefully placing that. Straight down. Like so. Now tracing around it. It's a seven flare, one to go. Tracing around that. And that's complete. And let's remove this layer. And what you'll see here is a two dimensional contour map. We have successfully generated a two dimensional contour map. Okay, so we've generated our two dimensional contour map, but there are still. Um, some discussion that we need to go through in regards to this. Usually on a contour map you'll see numbers. Those numbers represent how high each contour line is from sea level or from a reference point. Uh, we said let's assume each layer is 10 millimeters or 1 centimeter which represents 100 meters. So therefore the very middle point there would represent 800 meters above sea level. Okay, so we said the contour map represents the shape of the terrain and you can see the variation in shape throughout each level. Each contour line, so we've got eight lines here, one, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight lines. Each contour line represents a certain altitude above sea level. I should recap that a contour line, a definition of a contour line, is a line that joins places that are at the same height above sea level or a reference point. So I'll just re-emphasize that each line there represents a particular level, particular height, either above sea level or above a reference point. Let's assume it's above sea level in our case. So on each contour line there should be a number representing how high above sea level. Let's assume this mountain started off at zero meters and then a hundred meters, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred, five hundred, six hundred, seven hundred. And the very tip would be at 800 meters. So it's probably a bit better now you can see it. So we start off with zero meters and then we work our way up for each layer. 100 meters, 200, 300 meters above sea level, 400 meters above sea level, 500 meters above sea level, 800 meters above sea level, 600, 700, and the very, the very tip the vertex of the mountain is at 800 meters. Looks like the camera's having difficulty focusing because of the stick that's poking out. can see it now. 800 meters. Okay, the other important characteristic I like to bring your attention to is the slope. Remember at the very start of this discussion we talked about the contour lines the actual mountain had varying slope depending on which side you're looking at and so the contour lines the closer they are together the steeper the slope so as you can see these lines are very close to one another therefore that side of the mountain was very steep here you can see there's this significant separation between each contour line that means the slope here is a lot smaller in other words, the gradient here is a lot smaller, whereas the gradient here is a lot bigger. But then, if we work our way down the mountain, so from the top all the way down, we can see there's a fair bit of separation between these two layers. It flattens out again. So, from looking at this, we can determine how steep that the mountain was. So, on this side here, we can see it's relatively shallow and then all of a sudden there's this big there's a, there's a serious steepness here a very large gradient and then between this layer and the peak it flattens out again 